Hello, everyone. Good day, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever you're joining me from around the world. It's an honor to see you. Thank you for showing up. I just quickly wanted to share, to encourage us, because as each day comes and goes, we tend to experience and see more and more things that put the children of God, the active followers of Christ at disadvantage. And it seems like we are beca becoming the minority, but by the grace of God, we will hold on. I just want to say, put on the whole armor of God. I will read from Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10, and we take it from there. Finally, my brethren, I'm using the King James translation. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness in this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet showed with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication in all things. When the Bible said, put on the whole armor, it is a complete protection that we need to fend off the works of darkness. We are seeing more and more reasons why we need the whole armor of God. We see the open display of immorality. We see how the enemy is coming and they are going down to the cradle. If, even though, if they could reach the child in the mother's womb, they would. We see all kinds of things manifesting. Dearly beloved, let us put on the whole armor of God. We see the disregard, rejection, denial and disrespect for God. Men have made themselves God. The name of Jesus Christ is now offense to certain people. Put on the whole armor of God for your own protection wherever you go. The enemy of our souls is actively working to trap as many that will allow themselves to be deceived. Put on the whole armor of God for your own protection, my friend. We need that breastplate of righteousness. We live right before God because sin is what the devil will use to condemn you and make you feel rejected, worthless, and he will capture you. When we see some of these scriptures in the easy to read translation, they're so powerful. It says that the shield, when we have it in front of us, it will stop the devil from hurting us with his arrows that burn with fire. My dear people, the message of hope, the gospel of peace, we are to share the word of God. Do not live your life for Christ in secret because Christ died openly for us. The world knows that Jesus died. They will continue to fight against the truth, but thank God that the truth can never be killed or erased. I Let me apologize here. I don't know. My video is skipping and seems to be jumping, but hey. I will just quickly wrap it up here. Let us be encouraged, dearly beloved. We have the Lord Jesus Christ as our example. He didn't give up, neither should we. The enemy will not win unless you hand over and, and give up. Allow him to win. Put on the whole armor of God. We are not fighting against flesh and blood. The world knows this. Do you? They will continue to bring and churn out all kinds of evil. We see every nasty, perverted mind out there. They are racing for the children to catch them young. But pray for the children 
pray for the youth, the adolescent, and everyone to be able to stand and trust God for victory at last. Put on the whole armor. We have a father who never fails us. He said he will never leave us nor forsake us. Victory and salvation belong to those who wait and stand until the end. Don't give up, my friend, because we have a God who has given us victory. The Spirit of God in us will help us to carry on to the end. God bless you.